Welcome back to the end of week two documenting my journey using Banker EA by Team Pow. For the past month, I've been using Cloudsy on one of their highest VPS plans. Unfortunately, it has also crashed on me a number of times, which is why I can't show you the screen what it looked like after all the optimization tests were successfully run. What I'm going to show you instead is how I'm going to copy the files from my IC Markets demo account head into whatever folder you called it. I called mine power optimization and I'm going to copy all these folders into my local PC, shut down the VPS because I have no intentions of ever using Cloudsy ever again. This is my local PC where I've copied all the folders down and I'm only interested in the latest run. The next step is to generate our set file. So if I go back into Power Portfolio Builder and I head over to Power Set File Finder and I'm going to browse and look for the folder that we copied all our files before. And now what this is going to do is generate the set files based on the target drawdown of $1,000. You can have this bigger or smaller as you like. Next, we're using the Power Set Generator, which is the document tab on the left, which has been pre-populated from the previous step. I'm going to go and select the optimization files that were provided by Darren. I can't remember where I put my files, so I'm gonna go and re-download them again from Set Files and Optimization Files, Fast Optimization Files, and we're looking here for the against trend range and trend optimization files. And that has populated this box right here. So when we're selecting our against the trend strategy, make sure you select the right optimization files. And I'm going to go through down to this list here and we're just looking for anything with a high power score. So 109 and 106, they look okay. I select these two and hit generate set file. What the software has gone and done for me is created two set files for both Aussie CAD against the trend one and two. And you see these numbers at the top, 4631, that corresponds to the past number where you were optimizing. Second one, 2095, again corresponds to the past number. So now I'm just going to go to the entire list here. Next, we've got Aussie CAD range and you select the right file on the right here. And you can see these power scores are much higher. So instead of grabbing just two, I'm gonna grab three, the top three, and again, generate set. And to continue along for the top few set files for every single pair. But I don't just go and trust the power score blindly. I also like to double check the multiplier because personally for my own trading, this uh, column right here means the starting lot size. And I generally don't like having anything above one lot. So this lot here is 0.02. This one is 0.22. So which is okay from my own personal risk tolerance. If I see anything above one lot, I'm going to skip that set file or reduce the lot multiplier manually. Like this New Zealand USD trend, the starting lot size is 0.82, which is much too high for my personal liking. So I'm gonna skip that one. I'm gonna go with 0.09 and 0.27. Another example I've got here, this is a gold against the trend strategy. And the only one with a high power score is this top one. There are no other ones with an above 100 power score. So what I'm going to do is grab this one and I'm going to generate the set file, but I'll make a note to change the lot size manually when I am trading this particular set file. I have 48 set files. Each one of them have been adjusted to have a historical drawdown of no bigger than $1,000. The first time I did an optimization with the Portfolio Builder was a 20 week optimization that ended on the 24th of March, 2024 and a third of it was walk forward, which means that the set files produced in this process is only valid for about six weeks. So that ends on the 9th of May, 2024, and today is almost the end of May, so these set files are no longer valid. The most recent optimization I did was a full year, which took almost a week to do across all the different currency pairs that I picked, and that ended on the 20th of May, 2024. And of, again, this was one third of it was a walk forward. So these set files would be valid for three months. So I won't have to re-optimize again until the 20th of August, 2024. The reason I've chosen a much longer optimization time is because I'm trading with my live funds, not for a prop firm, and I want a much smoother equity chart. And because I'm lazy and I don't wanna be doing this every single week. From reading the chats in the POW Discord group, I expect the real live forward trading results to be three to five times 
bigger than the drawdown that we've seen historically. So a $1,000 drawdown might translate into a three or 5,000 drawdown in live trading. You get a total of five licenses from Team Pow, and two of them I have already used up with the set files I received from Darren a few weeks ago. So the remaining three licenses that I have, I will spread my 48 set files across these three and monitor them over the next few weeks. Only once I've got a few weeks of data will I copy from my master over to my live real slave accounts. What I learned this week was that optimizing on eight different currency pairs over or against the trend, trend and range over a full year of optimizations took about almost a week. I admit I was fiddling around with my VPS, so I did have to restart my optimizations a few times because Cloud Z crashed on me twice. So I won't be using their service again when I redo my optimizations in August. See you next week for another exciting episode of Lisa and her journey with Team Pal.